bit of a rough morning um Jensen didn't really sleep last night and we were going to go to a couple breweries today well first we were going to try to get early for Grand Palace yeah we were supposed to get there in the morning to kind of be there at sunrise and that just didn't happen we were supposed to go to two breweries this morning come to find out we flipped our days so yesterday we went to the monastery to try the world's best beer but yesterday we were supposed to go to those two breweries so today when we started our day um, we realized that the breweries were closed and we had flipped our days so now we are kind of flipping our days again and we um, we're on our way to our destination, and I realized halfway through that I forgot the SD card for the camera. So, we ended up going all the way back, and a hour trip ended up being like a two hour trip to go get the card and then come here. But, we have finally arrived at a castle, the um, Citadel of Namur. Now, if you've watched our previous videos, you know that we've gone to a couple castles, but we haven't been able to go inside. Um, so this one, hopefully, we'll be able to go inside. It's open today. We are here during hours, the correct hours. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll get to go into a castle. Or a torture chamber. Or a torture. Oh, I don't know about that. Giving Jensen some breakfast here that we found at the store. because they don't have English. Yeah. So, either that or French. Yeah, the French one was better. So we decided to just do the Dutch one. There might be some subtitles, but I'm sure we can figure it out. <laughs> and then later. We're going to take the train around the whole uh, area. Yeah, so it should be good. in Dutch so we got bits and pieces of it um, but essentially the first part of the tour was just telling us about um, like what the tunnels were uh, the different walls within the castle so uh, it started out as like a small area with the walls and then as the weapons throughout the years um, evolved the castle had to as well so they as the weapons were able to shoot farther they built further walls so that is why there are essentially three tiers to this castle um, and then 
when we went down into the tunnels. Uh, he talked about which parts were built during which wars and the weapons. There were like weapon rooms that you could see, uh, the little cutouts that they shot through. And then another part of the tour, they were talking about the different um, lengths and depths. They also discussed how the methods on which um, the tunnels were built. And you can tell as you go through um, which parts are older and which parts are newer based on like which um, types of building equipment they use. We, after we came outside and he showed us where some of the old tunnels have been walled up, um, which is pretty cool. This place is enormous uh, and at the end here just a few minutes ago when we ended he showed us where one of the giant catapults were that trebuchet uh, what is it trebuchet how do you say it trebuchet trebuchet it's different than a catapult but it shoots um, farther it was just like the peak of where they had the bigger artillery stuff they switched them out but yes because essentially we're at the oh, top cool. of the second tier yes and um there's also these little diagrams. I'll put up a little picture of one uh, that shows how, or what the different types of weapons were here, so. And at the end, they walked us through all the, the renovations they were doing. They got mm -hmm. one side done of uh, one of the main areas and the other side they're working on, but it's taking them a long time because it's a bunch of cement and yeah. they gotta manually do everything. The tour was in Dutch, but they did have pretty good visuals that he was yeah. saying that they did newer and he says it's a lot easier for people who don't speak uh, Dutch or French but we still got it pretty good the visuals helped for sure but oh, it was definitely. still doable yeah um, and the tour was an hour and a half long ish yeah they say it's about an so. hour and a half to two hours yep um, wasn't a lot of questions so. no <laughs> I don't know it was pretty cool so this next one we are gonna do I have a feeling it's gonna be a bit chilly because it's a train. It's quote more unquote. like a little, what? Quote unquote train. Train, yes. It's more like. It's a car that looks like a train. <laughs> yeah, we'll show it to you. So this is our little train. We're going to be taking around the Citadel. Should be fine. <laughs> My butt is very soaked from that train ride. And Jensen here had a near blowout. <laughs> Halfway through, we realized that he pooped more than what we thought. It was like coming out the back of his diaper. Pretty bad. <laughs> but it's okay. Pants are saved. Shirt is saved. We're good to go. And we got his shoes. So he kicked that off too. <laughs> The sun is starting to set right now and it is absolutely beautiful. protecting the castle. Yeah. Yep, there's a man riding the turtle. <laughs> it's so bizarre. Like we've said before, this place is enormous, but what I think is really cool is they basically just open 
the grounds of the um, fortress and let you walk all over. I'm out of breath walking upstairs. <sighs> but it's really cool that you can just kind of wander at your own pace and see things as you want to see them. It's not restricted um, as much as like what I would think it would be. Um, especially for a castle this old, um, you want like preserving it and everything like that, so. Sorry, <laughs> I was looking. Uh, what else should I say? Oh, you just went. Ooh.